Hello, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the difference between English and Hindi language. Uh, in order to understand um, any language, first we need to understand the uh, word order of languages. What is that? Basically three word orders, that is SOV, SVO, and VSO, okay. Uh, so, one of the examples of SOV is like for let me tell you, S is the subject over here, O is the object, and V is the verb. Now, uh, let's go into which language has got SOV, and the famous of this is Hindi, because th that is what I'm going to talk about and f for SVO we have got English and one example of VSO is Arabic okay so it's a default word order and turns into SVO again okay um, now first let's talk about English and we'll first go with examples and uh, try to understand like uh, how is it different when the same thing is uh, said in uh, Hindi okay so let's say that Tom flies kite okay Tom flies kite Tom is the subject over here flies is the verb and kite is the object okay in the same way if you want to say that in Hindi I will say Tom the way it's written I will use the next for the uh, for the Hindi one so that uh, any English reader can understand it okay so Tom for kite, no, since I, I've said that um, in Hindi we have got uh, the object after the subject, so instead of after Tom, I'll write kite over here. So it will become in Hindi we say kite as patang, and uh, let's write as per uh, te, uh, and a g. Okay. Patang, Tom Patang, but uh, another thing is, the, uh, is that the uh, selection of sounds which uh, the speakers of Hindi language take, you know, is a bit different from the sounds that um, normal English speaker or the native English speaker has. Like for example, the sound, t t the sound. Uh, becomes d, d, you know, and it's represented like this. D. So, uh, so there is a difference in phonology um, of uh, Hindi and English, and there are a couple of more um, sounds in in Hindi, and um, which uh, in English we don't have, and. Uh, there are a couple of more sounds in English which in Hindi they don't have. For example, they don't have a th. Exactly, th. Instead, they have got a th. Okay. Similarly, they don't have a th. Th. They have a th. Very similar sound is this th, and this is th. Okay. There is no bar over here. In this case, I've got a bar that's th. Okay, uh, but uh, other sounds like um, uh, this p that becomes p p p a bit of plosive is here. So, mm, but then you don't have to worry about that. You know about the phonology, uh, where the sounds are pretty much close to one another. So we don't take that one, except in the case uh, cases like the sounds this r. We don't have an English uh, substituent for it, like r, 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 you know, we don't have an English substituent. So, in that case, you have to memorize this sound so that I can use it uh, whenever this sound comes. So, we have got patang, okay, and tom patang, and the, and the last is flies, it becomes u, u. As in put ut u, 
and I have to use this values Rada okay U Rada Rada and an R like R and T and uh, okay Tom Patang Urata He okay plus uh, as a Hindi speaker will say Tom Patang Urata He okay He so whenever you get this thing make yourself as accustomed to this thing He He okay so we, since we, I cannot write that in English okay when you get this thing you will um, understand that to be He because it's very common for a simple present tense like this he okay he or like this some may also write like this he okay so bring it a bit here he okay Tom Patang Urata hai. what's the difference we can see that over here Tom is the subject Patang is the Patang is the object and Urata he is the verb so but we can see that here we got got two words Urata and he but here we have got only one because it's embedded in it now flies has got both Urata he in it so so once uh, you learn it like in the simple present tense you know this Urata he terms or whatever you know he terms is always there so uh, once you learn it you will get accustomed to it okay let's take an, an example Tom beats beats Tom beats Peter okay Tom beats Peter let me tell you another difference between English and Hindi is that in English we don't use sounds to write the words but in Hindi the sounds are used to write the words mm. okay so Tom beats Peter so I can say that Tom wait it's in Tom no beats we don't have we have Peter over here so Tom Peter now we use co co Tom Peter co uh, it's kind of a preposition okay we, although we don't see any preposition over here but um, here in, uh, in Hindi we have got preposition so Tom Peter co now the verb will come over here and that's Martha Martha that means beats Mar and we use a ra Martha no Martha we will say Martha Martha but uh, a native English will say Martha or if it's an American, it will say Marta, something of that sort. But it's we say Marta here, and as I said that, in most of the times when we speak, in uh, in simple present tense, the hair part is always there. Like we can take another example. Tom goes to school. Tom goes to school. Tom goes to school. And let's see the difference over here. Uh, we can say that. In Hindi it is said Tom. Here we have got two school, but we will not use two. We'll just say Tom school because many of the words uh, of Hindi are replaced by um, by English words, and it's very common in India that we we also say school instead of saying the hin Hindi translation of it. So Tom's school, so it's qu quite popular. Tom's school. Now the verb thing will become jata, jata. So I'll use a cha, a. Ja and a t and an a jata he and the he is again there. So I'll say Tom's cool jata he. Okay. Uh, moving further, uh, 
while uh, in English it said the adjectives the adjectives comes before the noun but uh, first we have the adjective then we have the noun in English but in Hindi first we have the noun oh no 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 it's not that it's the same as Hindi so adjective and noun and in the Hindi is also the same adjective and a noun in other case you know just forgot in other case it comes after you know I will discuss that one also so it's the same like good boy becomes like adjective and noun both for Hindi and English so let me rub a bit of it now like a good boy becomes suppose that is a good boy it becomes the good becomes a cha a cha a cha so uh, a cha and boy becomes ladka so it's tough to actually put that in phonetics you know because there is a difference the way it's said and the way it's pronounced also so how will i say uh, uh, if i write that in english it'll become a cha we don't have a cha even okay so that's a problem so mm, Suppose that this is my uh and uh, I don't have a ch chair. So that's a ch actually, but that becomes chair. So okay, let's try to do with that in phonetics. I'll say ach. So instead of chair, I'll say ch as in chair. So ach and uh, again a chair as, it, as in chair okay so a cha there's one word for, for good okay a cha and for boy it becomes l so l and I said that uh, I'm going to use this sound order because we don't have that in English so it becomes r r so and a car K and an O Lur Ka Lur Ka Rda 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 very similar to R R R R We use uh, the teeth ridge to pronounce the R we try to uh, touch the tongue to the teeth teeth ridge but in order to pronounce the ra, we have to move our tongue to the heart palate. Okay. Okay, suppose that. This is our mouth and this is our teeth part. We use our tongue like this. This is the, the tip of the tongue. So ra ra oh wait for a sec. Ra 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 we somewhere use our in order to pronounce the sound ra we use this part of the tongue from here, not exactly the teeth right, but somewhere over here. But we, in order to pronounce ra, we, ra, we use our tongue somewhere over here, somewhere uh, at the middle of the, you know, the meeting point of the hard palate and the soft palate. Ra, 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 ra. You know. So try it out. I don't know if you would do it or not, but then just try it out. Larka. Uh, okay. So good boy. Acha larka. So it's same as in English. You know, we use the adjectives before the nouns okay so let's run this part out okay for preposition you know the preposition like uh, we use the preposition prep p r e p prep in english the first the preposition used and then the noun okay then the noun but uh, in hindi the preposition is used after the noun after the noun okay so this for English and this for Hindi okay this for Hindi so let's try to get one of these preposition uh, like at home at home becomes becomes ghar par so for home we use 
uh, sound like ghe, uh, very much like ghe, ghe. We don't have any any an English for ghe. Uh, so you have to know then. There's no other. Oh, this is how we write ghe. Ghe, okay. Ghe. So this is my ghe. You know. And a r, so ghar r ghar. So we don't say ghar with a m with uh, a lot of trail. We don't say, just say ghar ghar ghar. We don't say ghar ghar ghar. We don't have that much of a trail in it. Okay, ghar par, and at becomes par p and a r p. Ra, make it per uh, and ra. Per, ghar per. At home, ghar per. Uh, we'll try to take some more examples to understand a bit of a preposition. To Tom, I'm going to Tom's place. Suppose I say that I'm going to Tom's place to to Tom. Okay, it'll become k. To Tom becomes Tom will remain Tom, okay, and two becomes K, K and A K, it becomes K Tom K. That's enough for today. You know, if you like the video, so please do comment on it, and so that uh, I can post some more videos on the difference between English and Hindi. Thanks for watching the video.